The RLG it's, Falchion RX Low Profile. So, sorry. Is, I just, I'm, I'm just laughing because your little ally is so perfectly placed behind you. The pillow. I know. is like, great? I He's love just it. like smiling at you. I don't know how to point to it. It's right over you, here. You figured it out. I'm proud of you. Yep. All right. So I just popped a link in the chat. The Falchion RX Low Profile is already on sale. You guys can go out and buy it right now. But we've already unboxed ours, so we're not going to do a whole unboxing. We showed this off uh, during our CES stream. But let's let's take a little bit of a closer look at it. Yep, there it is. $169.99. So, oh, shoot. I actually meant to get this out. Hold on one sec. <laughs> look at this. Look how low profile it is. Yes. Small. So this is the original Falchion. I have the original Falchion here. Uh, this was kind of designed to be our ultra compact uh, gaming keyboard designed, you know, you get rid of not just the number pad, but also that other middle TKO row and the function keys. We get rid of all of the non-essentials so that you can kind of slide it into a bag, take it with you. Plus, you know, with the smaller, more compact the keyboard is, the more optical, optimal, optimal ergonomics you have for gaming because you have more room for your mouse hand over here. When you have the numpad and all that other stuff, you kind of shrink the area for your mouse in that optimal ergonomic fashion. So there are a number of advantages to these compact keyboards. And that's one of the reasons that they have become so popular um, in kind of the keyboard enthusiast community. But as compact as this is, we wanted to go smaller. Oh, that's a great comparison. Yeah. Look at how much smaller that is then. So that's a full size keyboard. That's our, our, our Strix, Strix, <laughs> Strix Flare 2 Animate. I kept wanting to say Strix Flow. That's not right. Strix Flare 2 Animate. That's a full-size keyboard. Awesome anime matrix along the top. All sorts of cool functions. You got that big wheel. We basically shrunk this down into just the essentials. In fact, the Falchion RX Low Profile. This Falchion, the original, was a 65% keyboard. This is a 65% layout in a 60% frame. So we shrunk it even a little bit further uh, horizontally and then shrunk it a huge amount vertically. And actually, you can take it out of that case. So that's a little uh, dust cover we have that you can put on over the top and then you can put it under it when you're using it. You can see how crazy slim this thing is. Talk about being able to fit it into a bag and take it with you. Awesome. So it weighs like, like nothing. nothing. Seriously, Seriously. like yeah. this, this is, is the, the ultimate portable, portable gaming keyboard, keyboard for sure. 26 and a half millimeters thick. Okay. We, we can't show the original and the, and the low profile side by side because I have the original and Jake has the low profile. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that would have been nice. Um, and we're not in the same room, if you can't tell. So uh, our RX, so we had to use different switches for this. We're using our own custom RX low profile switches. So these provide 2.8 millimeters of key travel. Uh, a typical keyboard like this one is more like four millimeters. So you have a little bit less travel, but still plenty. Um, I had people ask me, <laughs> so I had some people ask me this week, does it feel like, how do I say this? There are other computer brands out there known for slim white keyboards. I won't name a name, but I think you may have some examples floating around in your head. And they said, does it feel like one of those or does it feel like a mechanical keyboard? It is still a mechanical keyboard. 2.8 millimeters of travel is still quite a bit. And it's not, it's not membrane. Like, you know, it's not a typical membrane keyboard where it's just either up or it's down. You feel that travel you, the whole way you down. You cannot compare this to the competitor yeah. you're talking about. Like, it's not even, <laughs> yeah. it's not even similar. Or just or like a laptop keyboard, for example, like this someone is, might say. Like, is it not, like a no, no. no, it is a mechanical keyboard. It's just a bit slimmer. Um, it is the switches are available in both red linear and blue clicky variants. Great, I love this picture. So you can see how much slimmer they are than a typical mechanical keyboard switch. That's cool. But we still have them in red and blue. So if you like that clicky sound, that tactility, you can still get it with these. What I like about our um, RX switches, as opposed to our NX switches, use the typical cross stem that like Cherry use. We went RX for this because, again, like you're not you're not going to be swapping out like typical keycaps with them because of the lower profile. And an advantage of our RX switches is that they have this four point stem. You might be able to see this on the product page, Jake, if you go back and you scroll down. Um, instead of connecting like on a stem in the middle, they have four points. Sorry, not on the article on the on the product page. Oh. Um, 
not that, sorry, the, the other product page, the one this, on our site. Oh, this so you can see here too. So there's like four little holes in the uh, switch that go on the outside. And that means you have like no key wobble at all. The keys are super, super stable. Even if you're like touching on the edge of a long key, like shift or something, it is crazy stable, doesn't wobble. And it allows us to put that RGB LED in the middle so it shines right up through the the Thank centered you. legends on the keycap. Yeah, I'm it trying to wobble, wobble it. It rocks back, back and forth slightly, but it doesn't wobble. It doesn't tilt. tilt. Yeah, that's like actually probably the switch inside the switch. It's not the Yeah, exactly. It is. You're right. Is that's... this the actual ROG channel? Yes, this is the actual yeah. ROG channel. Actually, we have Welcome. a few, but this is this is our 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 biggest channel, the global channel. So really consistent keystrokes, no wobble, near zero debounce delay. Just a really great feeling keyboard. I got to use this at CES and I was actually doing some gaming on it. I was like playing some Apex Legends with it. It feels nice, real nice. And I'm not even generally a red switch kind of guy, but it feels really nice on this keyboard. You'll also see as Jake is tipping it over, there's a little slot for your dongle right there. Can you, can you pull that out? That is our I, ROG I'm... Omni receiver. Yep. So this is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless. And uh, our new ROG Omni receiver allows you to connect a keyboard and a mouse to the same receiver. So you save USB ports on your system. Now it's only with some of our newer peripherals that are compatible with this, but if you wanted to get, for example, the upcoming Keras 2 Ace wireless, uh, and I believe the Harp Ace also uses the ROG Omni receiver, then you could connect both of these through one receiver rather than having to take up two USB ports. Pretty handy. However, try mode connectivity, so it comes with that, but you can also hook it up wired or use Bluetooth. Bluetooth is really, I don't know if I would personally use Bluetooth for gaming, but if you're traveling with this keyboard and just doing like work on it, yeah. Bluetooth is great because you don't have to worry about the dongle. You can leave it in your desktop at home or whatever, connect it to any, you could connect it to the Ally, right? Without sure. having to, because that's, I mean, that doesn't have a ton of USB ports like a keyboard or a, like a computer. So even yeah, your phone. if you want to use this with an Ally or your phone, yeah. yeah, just hook up Bluetooth. It also does have a Mac OS uh, version with just the flip of a switch on the back. You can put it into Mac OS mode, which means that the modifier keys, like control and alt and stuff, are going to align properly for, for a Mac if you want to use it with both a Windows and a Mac machine. It is wireless, so we do have to talk about battery a little bit. 108 hours of battery life with the RGB at 50% is, is what they're quoting me. Now, if you turn the RGB off and you're using that USB dongle, 436 hours of battery life. Wow. You will not have to charge this thing very often. And if you use Bluetooth, the battery is actually a little bit longer, 575 Interesting. Hours. Yeah. Um, again, like Bluetooth has more latency and things like that, uh, which is why I wouldn't necessarily recommend gaming with it unless you absolutely have to. But if you're just typing, um, it's probably not going to make a huge difference and you can eke out some more battery life. So that's another advantage to using uh, Bluetooth when you're on the go. I would use, I mean, I, I still, like when I travel with my keyboard, I use USB like 90% of the time, but the Bluetooth is handy. I did forget my dongle once at home and I was still able to use it. It was perfect. Um, is the battery replaceable? That's a good question. I don't have an answer to that. Sorry, hmm. I'll have to check on that for you. Um, one last thing to feature on the back of the keyboard, man, that mirror finish on the top is really cool. I love it, um, yeah. The one other thing you'll see on the back, sorry, not the bottom, but like the, that top part where the dongle was, there is a, a little touch bar. So we had this on our, yeah, it's actually kind of hard to see in the, on the white one, but we had it on the original as well. It was on the side. We've moved it now to the top here. That's like a, a touch space. That's a little easier to see. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's like a volume slider. You can use it to adjust the volume, skip tracks into your music program, adjust RGB brightness, and then it has a multi-function button right next to it that you can also customize an armory crate. So um, it just gives you a little bit more like functionality, and it does it without increasing the size of the keyboard and putting more keys on top. Look at the, the response on that bar, bar on the top, top though. Oh, that's as cool. I slide on it. You just stop. It stops just turn, doing turn it. Yeah. The RGB off. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. So it's like telling you volume up, volume down, kind of just confirming that it's working, it's going in the direction that you're using it. It says Jake's audio is echoing. Yep. Izzo asks, did it just click when you put it inside the cover? Um, I don't Try know it. if it clicks per se. Mine does not click. Yeah. But it does, it does fit quite snug. Like when it's you rest like it on it's the not gonna fall off. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of 
sits in there when it's as a cover, like a dust cover. And yeah. then the when you when you slot it in. it in the other way, it, it it's snug. Like I'm holding it by the cover here and not by the keyboard. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, it's sliding, right? Just a little bit. Like it wouldn't stay. Yeah, like I mean, that like old. I wouldn't do that and shake it around. <laughs> that would right. be silly. But it's still, it's, it's snug because it's got some rubber kind of holding it in there, but it's not clicking in. But there is a rubber pad <laughs> right here. And that's kind of holding it in place firmly. And there's two little rubber oh, tabs that's really nice. on the bottom over here. There's rubber tabs. And on the corner, that's actually tabs. an upgrade over the old version. Oh, really? Yeah, this is all yeah. rubber. This is all nice and soft. Um, Oops, and then the bottom here is rubber, but it doesn't have like that notch the on the tabs, side. Like yeah, that. it's on, on all sides. That's um, a really nice improvement. Yeah. I like that a lot. Uh, are these unreleased? This looks amazing. No, you could buy these right now. Oh, I forgot to pin the, the blink. Sorry, guys. You had I'm one pinning job. The link in, I know I had one job. There, it's pinned in chat, guys. So now they're for sale is... in the U.S. I don't know if they're from for sale everywhere. Um, yeah, I think they're probably for sale in a bunch of regions, if not all. But I know that they are on sale in the U.S. right now. I think it was just Newegg. I checked the Amazon listing and the um, Micro Center listing weren't up yet, but I think they will be if they're not yet. Okay. Um, so just keep an eye on that. But again, like it is for sale. You can grab these now. Just trying to check. Any plans to make it thinner eventually? We literally just released this, so I can't speak to future products. Um, but I, I just love those consistent comments. People are always like, "Yeah, but what about the next version?" It's like, "What, this, what about the this next?" Just version? came out like <laughs> like yesterday. No, so you know what? I mean, it, I will say, I don't always know like what the plans for the future are, and I don't always know what um, what exact factors go into the decision making for some of this stuff i can give you some examples of factors that would go into it and i imagine that battery is part of that if you want that super long battery life like you're it's a balance between how thick it is and how much battery you have i mm. still think that this is crazy thin this is plenty thin for me to put in my bag without also having to worry about battery it's a fine line um but i've i like i said i've felt this in person uh I thought to myself, I could steal this from the CES show floor and no one would notice because it's so thin. Just hide it in my jacket. And run. But I didn't do that because I'm waiting for Whitson to say, hey, Jake, send me that keyboard. Oh, I've been <laughs> wanting you to send me that keyboard for <laughs> since the day you got it. This was one of those products. Like, it's funny because when we release new products, we all look and go, this is the one that I want. I want them to send this to me. And this was one of those. I was like, yeah. oh my gosh. Because I, I mean, Jake knows whenever we go to Taiwan for work, I bring a slim keyboard, or yep. a, uh, not, it's not slim, it's a, it's a compact keyboard, it's this, yep. like this, with me to Taiwan because I want to have a real keyboard while I'm sitting there working in the office for a week and a half. Rather than I a would laptop kill yeah. to upgrade downsize from this to that, um, for sure, because I would use it all the time. Yeah, Straight so someone up. in Quarky asks if there's any plans to do one of these with a numpad. And I, you know, the answer to that is obviously we don't know, like we just announced this, but... Um, I think that kind of goes against the philosophy of what this is. This is all designed to be super compact. So adding a numpad would kind of go against the design of what I think the falchion is. That's just my opinion, though. Milky but, Ice. We have proper keyboards, but I want I want one. I mean, they're all at other people's desks. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we occupy, like, abandoned cubicles. And we could probably, like, harass someone. But, I'm hey, sure we give me a Sasha's good keyboard. Got stacks of keyboards. But, yeah, we just don't want to, like, be a burden. We just kind of want to be there to do our job, right? So, yeah. um, but someone's going to watch this, and we're going to get there, and there's going to be, like, a keyboard waiting Stack for us. Stack of keyboards <laughs> on our desk, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good about giving us what we need. If we oh, ask yeah. for it, yeah. we can get it. Of course. Um, RGB lights are off when you're in wireless mode. No, you can turn them on. It's just that, like anything wireless, if you aren't using the keyboard, the lights will turn off after a certain amount of time. I don't know for sure, but I believe that should be customizable in Armory Crate. I, I know I'm it's customizable sure. for some of our, for like the Azoth um, that I use on my desktop. You can usually customize like how long, what that timeout is. Um, but but don't quote me on that because I'm not looking at it in front of me. Hmm. So um, did you go over the lighting options and is it adjustable without software? We didn't go over the lighting options. It's going to be the same as our other keyboards. Uh, I'm fairly certain. Adjustable without software, I would... I believe that for most of the effects, you're going to have to use Armory Crate. I do know Windows has their new um, lighting settings in uh, Windows 10. It's called dynamic lighting. But I have not played with that a ton yet, so I don't want to get too specific about what it can and cannot do 
um, and whether it can do it without Armory Crate installed. I really need to start exploring that. And mm. I might, maybe I'll do an article or something on how to. A lot, a lot of our keyboards do have a function where you can like choose the brightness of the lighting and stuff. I cannot remember that key off the top of my head because I don't use that myself. Oh, yeah. But typically our keyboards do have that function built in where it's like you hold the function key and you you slide down on this slider. Um, I'm sure it exists, but I just don't know the answer for sure. This one is not hot swappable. Um, again, because it's using our RX switches yeah, and because they're spe like special low profile switches, it's just, we had to go a bit more custom to shrink it down this much. That's just one of the, again, one of the trade-offs you make when you're shrinking mm -hmm. something down yep. this size. Um, we do have a lot of hot swappable keyboards. Yeah, like the um, Flare and like, uh, This guy's hot swap. Yeah. These are all hot swappable, but this is. So is my Azoth. Amanda Spell is saying she, she wants a more, um, just a more general ROG full keyboard, but in white. We do, I mean, we have the Azoth in white, but that doesn't have a numpad. The Strix um, Scope 92 or 96 wireless does have a numpad. It's still a little bit more compact because it doesn't have that that middle block of keys. I don't believe we have that in white currently, but anything's possible in the future. Um, the, I'm not the, saying that because I know it's coming. I'm saying we have a we have a scope TKL, um, but it's not a full keyboard. I don't know. Yeah, yeah she's the, asking for a, a number pad. I don't know if we have any white gaming keyboards with a number pad because a lot of the demand is for the more compact keyboards like the TKL. I never like realized that. And that's really interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to harass someone about that. <laughs> it's time. It's I mean, time. yeah, it's still though. Like that's like, you know, there's a gap gap that I someone know. may not notice. Yeah. Um, speaking of white, we have a lot of white peripherals on sale right now and we'll go over that in just a few minutes, mm. but that's, that's everything for the ROG. Um, Falchion RX Low Profile. Guys, check it out. It's available on Newegg right now. I believe it's coming to Amazon and Micro Center soon, as well as your favorite retailer in your region. So yeah, if you want a compact keyboard, go check it out.